welcome back to Chop Top with Coach D, our garden series. Uh, today we're gonna be doing some uh, some bug control. Got this product here, they call Seven Insect Killer. Ready to spray, you just hook the water hose up to it. Just spray the plant down, lay it all over. It should not burn it, should not harm it in any kind of way, but when you're growing outdoor, you wanna make sure that uh, really have your bug attack, get it early and, uh, and stay on top of it because your aphids and caterpillars and leaf cutters and grasshoppers, they will find these plants to be a nice little place to make a home. So you want to get on top of that early and get your pest control down. I haven't had a problem yet with bugs this season, so before there even is a problem, uh, I want to be on top of it. So what we're going to do is... I'm gonna take the water hose here. Real simple. Uh, take the water hose here. And just screw this on there. I got several bottles to cover everything in the yard. Yeah, let's take a look at my shirt here. This shirt's made by Holly Favorite Entertainment. It's a picture of a little, little, little American history right there. Trees bearing strange fruit. Uh, I'm gonna go turn the water on. You want to do this either early in the morning or towards the evening. So if you live in a hot environment such as where we're at, you won't be burning your plants up with the sunlight. It don't even take that much. Just put them down. It stinks. No, I don't stink. There's nothing. We got big burpee here. Coco don't like the water, huh? Other things I heard you can use like neem oil and stuff like that. I haven't really got into that yet. The seven seems to work pretty good for me. So we got enough probably for a couple more plants. And then we'll switch the bottle up. Right here to take it good, fine. As you can see, this plant is actually ready for its next cage. I'm gonna say, is that why it's growing like that? Yeah, it's just stretched out on it. It's got a little weird growth pattern to it, but that's every year. Plant grows how it wants to grow. It did pretty good for the amount of plants I had to do. I think I can get all these down in this one bottle. Now I'll be one sick puppy if I come out next show and see that I done burnt my plants up, but it shouldn't be a problem. Do you do this every year? Yep. So every year you learn how to deal with these bugs. One thing you can't escape out there is these bugs. How long have you been growing? Uh, well, before it was out, it got past the leaves. I'll tell you that much. Get my little rosemary up. I'll just use the rest of this a bottle on the tomatoes. That way, I have a fresh bottle for the other one. This ball lasts you a, a lot. Yeah, I, I thought it would. It's good now, you're 
these little ones right here, you gotta get them stretched out. Temporarily. Yeah, stretched out there. Right through the little. Windows. This plant's gonna fill out real quick. Like I'm telling you, I just cropped it and it's already getting some nice bottom growth. It's a late bloomer, but it's gonna catch up. Good deal. I can see that in it already. Alright. Got the bottle. Look, I was able to do all those plants with that one bottle. Now I only have one left to go. I'll be sure to get this one real good because you got the right bottle over here. Yeah, what's Them aphids getting comfortable over here. Caterpillars and none of that crap. So start with a good maintenance program on them from the start. And, uh, that's hopefully prevents you with a problem. Getting into your nice clean buds and making them real nasty. The thing is, they don't eat the, uh, the buds, but the buds are so sticky they just get caught up in them and die. So you get a whole bunch of dead, a dead aphids in your in your and your product. That's no good, no bueno. Man, I got some cropping to do, some stretching to do. You see it starts drooping when it gets wet, but don't worry, as soon as it dry off, it'll perk right back up. These plants can take a lot of, a lot of abuse, a so-called abuse. I mean, this is the one I stretched out and put the cage on a few days ago. Yep. You already is responding. Refer to the previous video. Now how old are these plants? Uh, these plants are what, four months old now? Uh, what? May, June, July, August? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Four months. When will they be ready for harvest? We're looking at the end of October, hopefully. Everything goes right. See my new plants, uh, they really be taking well. These are in 15 gallon buckets again? 15 gallon buckets. Yeah. Uh, let me see, let me check it out. See, this is why I started stretching out the other day and it's already just taken to that whole process real well. So I got to recage them? I'll have to put another cage on them. Oh, you leave these same cages on? Oh, yeah. All these cages is part of the support process. When you get your big yield and your plant is able to stand up and not be breaking over and having those type of complications oh dang so you gotta take that one this big one apart you gotta uh cut all of that off it's like a puzzle you just slowly just break it down but it'd be so much coming out the top of it just you have to start cutting the plant down to even get down to the cage level oh yeah that's a nice stretch right there now what are your measures on preventing um you know people stealing yeah all i can say you just gotta be vigilant Worst Get a guard man. dog. You don't want to catch nobody. Yeah, you hope the dogs do their job, but you don't want. Worst nightmare. You don't want to catch nobody back here in Seneca. That could just really piss you off. You're not really sure how you're gonna respond to that. 
lot of people, a lot of people who work, who work hard to grow and to put your time into it, and some creep comes along, stealing, and it's just not cool. You almost rather somebody come along and ask, you, you have more respect for them. But if you come and take your hard work, that's not a good look. It sure ain't good to be the one getting caught. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying from from, from experience. From experience yeah. <laughs> Some of these might still pop back up, but we start trying to train them to get outside. To and all of this is only for recreational use. Oh, yeah. Recreational. Uh, I like to cook the edibles. Yes. Especially during holiday time. No illegal work around here. Oh, no, no way. I don't want to do that. Oh, yeah. Stay tuned for the edible videos. Might film one pretty soon, huh? Oh yeah, especially around holiday season. We'll yeah. do some experimenting and and see what we can come up with as far as some, some edibles that maybe I made before. I like, like I did a sweet potato pie. Yeah, uh, well, sweet potato pie. I made sweet potato pie and it, it was good. Just every time I ate a slice, I fell asleep. Almost ready, but I might go ahead and crop this one. Let's see. Let's see what we're looking like. I have already done it, huh? Uh, you know, you just a cropping, you know. Some people say, oh, be careful, use some sterilized scissors, man. It's an outdoor, man. This plant can take it, so. And just find a little break in it right here. And I'm going to get it right there. Well, what does that do? It makes it spread out. It'll make it grow two tops instead of the one. Okay. Uh -huh. Then to come Fun on. Fun fact, right. these plants go to sleep at night. I didn't know that. Oh yeah, one thing about yeah, they do go to sleep at night. If you ever sit out here, especially when they get into a, a certain type of maturity and the size, you can sit out here and while you sit out here watering and watching them, as the sun goes down and gets dark, you'll see the leaves droop and drop and the plant actually goes to sleep. So it's not it's, dead. It's a, it's a neat process. Be like, this is going at such a fast, I was just back here doing it, but since I'm here now, you just want to keep it stretching. Use, use the fence as an asset. Look how big they get, like a few weeks. Once again, Talk Talk with Coach D, Garden Session. Thanks for coming in my world. Look forward to our next. Be sure to like and subscribe. Check out all our other uh, uploads and things like that. Give us comments. And uh, check out all my uh, Facebooks and all the other stuff that goes along with it. Thanks for tuning in.